Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode two of my Minecraft Let's Play. My name is Scott, and so far, we have been caught in the rain on well, our second day, <laughs> literally our second day on this new world, and it rains on us. Um, and we have dug a hole in the ground that only partially protects us from the water. And, uh, this were the real world, this would be pretty much the worst situation ever. Especially because, like, I feel like people could slip on this ladder and die and... Eh, I don't know. It's a game. Thankfully. And, uh... I don't know, I find it interesting that people are always trying to make Minecraft like they're... Like, um, especially around the time of when they were coming out with the official release, I feel that Mojang was really trying to make the game realistic, you know, they did that, uh, I think it was the adventure update, where they introduced a whole bunch of new biomes, and they redid a bunch of biomes to make them realistic, and I'm all for that, I think that's cool, but, uh, at the same time, I like the fact that Minecraft is, it's, it's, it resembles the real world somewhat, but it also has, like, its own thing about it. Um, you know, like, floating islands, mushroom biomes, um, you know, well, there's all these things I like. And what? Lapis? Seriously? We find lapis before we find iron? Well, it was the first time for everything, guys. Um, a lot of firsts going on. Rain on us for the first day. Huh. Well, I don't want to make some blue carpet. That. I'm kidding. I know. We're supposed to use lapis for enchanting things. Now, apparently. I'm actually for that in the enchanting system. I know some people are like, oh, it's done. You have to use lapis now. But, I don't know. I think it's better because uh, it doesn't use as much experience points as it used to. So, I don't know. Leave a comment. If you. You know, let me know what your opinion is. Do you like the new enchanting system, or did you like the old one better, in which you had to grind for XP every time you had to enchant something new? Let me know. So, yeah, man, I wish I had that just sleep and be the morning. You would miss all this, but wow, it looks like there's some sort of mountain in there. We are definitely going to check that out, though not now, because, uh,. I don't think we're in any position to go this way. We don't even have a house. But, uh, actually, what, what level are we at? Here, we got a, you know, we got an axe. I'm just gonna go ahead and chop down a bunch of trees. So, uh, I'm going to skip ahead after I get some wood and uh, continue from there. So, see you then. Alright everybody, we are back, and uh, my axe just broke after collecting huh, a pretty decent amount of wood. Got a lot of dark oak wood. I love, love, love dark oak trees, and oh, yay, it stopped raining, and the sun is setting. Uh, Alright, well, that's how it works. Uh, I don't care though, I'm glad the rain is gone. I like the fact that they added weather to this game, I just feel like... Honestly, I guess this is actually pretty realistic, but uh, it always seems to rain at the most inconvenient time. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that's actually very realistic. I don't know, my experience of dealing with rain is that I love the rain, but it always decides to rain when, like, you know, I need to do something outside or something. So we're going to use some of this dark oak wood. I love, I, I'm so glad that uh, they've added more and more uh wood colors over the years um it used to just be oak and uh i mean honestly i actually still think that the oak wood is actually the best color but uh, i like the variety i like the darker colors actually i think maybe spruce might be my favorite because it's dark but it's not like this dark and 
It's good to me. So, all right, we're going to put some things we don't need away. And decide. I like how they added these new uh, rock colors recently, too, in 1.8. I know uh, the textures aren't the best, and I agree with that. Um, I'm not disagreeing with anyone who thinks that uh, the, the textures could have been better. I do wish that uh, diorite was uh, less noisy. I wish it didn't have as much, uh, like, all that graininess to it. I guess I should have grabbed a piece and I could place some and show you. But, oh, well, here's some right here, actually. Yeah, see, it's just, it's really... I mean, you can make that work in certain situations, but it doesn't match a lot with, like, the blocks that are currently existing. And I don't know, I've wanted Minecraft to make, like, a good, like white colored block and they did they made quartz uh, nether quartz but the problem is that that's kind of a rare ish mineral i mean you can get a lot of it if you get like a fortune enchantment i know but still i kind of wanted something that was easier to get a lot of that maybe wasn't like perfectly white because that's basically what nether quartz is but uh oh i just realized we're one level away from diamond Boom, and we have one ladder left. Wow, everything just worked out kind of perfectly right there. So, all right, well, in that case, I think here I'm going to start mining. So, yeah, but I don't know. Like, I'm glad that ex it exists. And, ooh, lava lake right there. Finding all kinds of cool stuff. No diamonds around it, but you never know. We're going to mine this all out, don't worry. Um,. Yeah, like, I don't know, I just feel like, because they also made white colored hardened clay, and um, I like that too, but, well, actually, no, that's not true. I don't like the white colored hardened clay, because it's got this, like, pinkish tint to it, which, I mean, I guess you could make that work with certain color schemes, but I don't know, I just, I feel that it's more challenging to make these white colored blocks, diorite, and white hardened clay, uh, like, work with other things, um, and I really was hoping for something that's just like, oh, here's just a kind of whitish colored block that matches a lot of things, and you can use it for interior walls, and it'd be really cool, yeah, so, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about that, but overall, I'm happy that they're continuing to add more block variety, um, I definitely, I see, I'm definitely more into the building side of things in this game. Um, what I love about Minecraft is that you kind of can do whatever you want. Like, if you're the type who just loves to explore and check out all the cool terrain generation, this game is for you. If you love building things, this game is for you. Um, like, I just, I just love how it's not like you have to be one thing to enjoy this game. You can do pretty much whatever you want. And I definitely, I'm more into the building, and so that's what I'm planning to do this Let's Play. I probably should have made that clear in the first video, but uh, yeah, I, I want to, I'm, I really like building things. Uh, I like also taking, taking advantage of some of the mechanics of the game, and then building cool contraptions, and then my favorite thing is the challenge of making those contraptions look nice. Um, like, for example, uh, a lot of people build these elaborate mob farms, and don't worry, we're definitely going to do that in this game, because, uh, I mean, just to me, the thought of having, you know, renewable gunpowder is just the best thing ever, so we're definitely going to build one. But um, a lot of the designs, uh, if, you, if you build them below ground, they work great. If you build them above ground, they look really ugly. And so, I don't know. Like, I've, I've built other people's designs, and, uh... Yeah, I, I don't know. I usually I usually either do just that. I Oftentimes, I just put them underground or in a mountain. Um, if we're in a mountainous area. Uh, which, I guess we kind of are. Uh, the roof forest is a pretty intense terrain, but they're not, like... I know, they're not extreme hills. Which is my favorite biome, I think. Um, but, uh, yeah, when I build it above ground, I always like to challenge myself and think, how can I, like, make this look nice? You know, we have this massive blob of 
cobblestone and water and I don't know, it depends on what kind of farm you build. Like some, you know, use gravity and so you've got this big like floating chunk in the sky. Uh, some use water and lava in which you have like rivers and like, yeah, you got like waterways going everywhere and I don't know. We're definitely going to try it. All I know is like, I definitely, I like to make things look nice and I like to, I like to build things too. I like, um, I like taking villagers. Uh, when you, whenever I discover a village, I like to take the villagers away from the village and build them like a better village because I mean, the naturally spawning villages are cool, but eh, they, they almost always, they're like, they, they generate horribly wrong and you know, like, either the buildings are, like, sunk into the ground below the road, or, like, oftentimes I find flooded villages where there's just water everywhere, and the villages look like they're trying to survive from some sort of terrible natural disaster. It's kind of funny, actually, but I don't know. I like, I like building, like, cool little areas for villagers, and even whole, like, towns and cities. We're probably going to do that in this Let's Play, if it lasts long enough. We'll see. I'm gonna try and start the uh, the house before before the end of the video because you know the first video was all just kind of grindy stuff and this video has been mostly just grindy stuff and I really want to get going on the building so we're gonna build the foundation of our house and uh, then I think we'll call it a video so. Goodness, almost fell there. Oh, uh, that's a... Yeah, we're definitely going to fix that as soon as we can. <laughs> Watch your step. So, uh, this is, um, this is the foundation of my building, and by foundation I mean this is like the interior flooring of my building, um, of my little mining shack that I'm setting up. Um, so just to give you an idea of what I'm doing, I'm putting, I'm gonna put a wall with some chests right here, and then there's gonna be sort of a little, like, archway here that's gonna separate, um, that's going to kind of divide this place into two rooms. This is where the front door is going to be, roughly about, in fact, I'll, just, I'll actually just go ahead and put this. So we're going to put the front door here, walk in, there's going to be a lovely window here, uh, some chests on this wall here. We're going to walk through this way, and we're going to have a bunch of furnaces on this wall, and we're going to have our bed right here. So pretty simple design, just a small little kind of a starter home. Very, uh, it's going to look very cabiny, I think, but uh, I think it will serve us well for the early part of the game while we're collecting resources and stocking up mass amounts of cobblestone and wood for bigger and better things. So, uh, yeah, all right. Well, I think that's a good place to end the video. See you next time.